is Cool Cat, and I'm back just as I promised, maybe a little bit earlier than I thought. This is only game two. I thought I was going to return with maybe game five of the regular season, game four. But this is a clutch moment. We are tied four to four in the bottom of the six with the bases loaded and nobody out, so I couldn't turn down the opportunity to come right back. This is Dustin Fowler right here. And Glitchy got him. Glitchy Glitch. And that's not going to be deep enough. No. Uh, Dustin Fowler fails with the bases loaded. Jim Lowry, I need a replacement. There is no replacement. He's terrible. Oh, no. We might blow this. Jim Lowry says, no, we're not going to blow it. We're going to yeah. take the RBI go around out. Flip it over to Chad Pender, who is a designated hitter leading off. I know it's an odd way to do things. Your DH typically doesn't lead off, but he's got the best speed, so <laughs> we have terrible speed. Chris Davis, I've put him in right field now instead of designated hitter because he has good defense. So, oh, yeah, Chad Pender. That's going to go all the way to that corner of the wall, and it is six to 6-4. I'm going to stop the runner at third. Two runs. This is a little unorthodox way of getting runners in with the bases loaded. Making two outs before you score your first run, but it's working. Canna. I'm going to ground out first. We score two. Take the lead six to four. Three runs in the fifth and three in the sixth. Very similar to last night. The fifth and sixth innings are real kind to us for some reason. Oh, yeah. Olsen, by the way, has made it out in his last two at-bats. So, yes, his 100 batting average has been broken. It can't go on forever, guys. It just can't. All right. Maybe he can do something good here. Sean Manaya pitched terrible, by the way, uh, for what I thought he was going to pitch today. He gave up four runs and about... Three or four innings. Chris Davis hit a dinger already today. Oh, no! Oh, and he gets robbed by Luis Valbuena. Yikes. That one was going down the line for extra bases. He hit the, uh, the game-tying home run, by the way. Chris Davis did to tie the game at four. And that was in the bottom of the fifth, I think. No, that was in the top of the... That was in the bottom of the sixth. That'll be the end of the inning. Is Sean Manaya still pitching? I guess we'll figure out. Nope, Zach Duke is pitching. He just gave up a homer. Bottom of the eighth. Clutch time in the ninth. For Blake Trinan to get his first save. It's a tight one, though. Six to five. He's a 104 now. He had a save yesterday, I guess. I guess they did count it as a four-inning save. This is a more advanced app than I thought it was. No, I had respect for it. I didn't realize it was. <clears throat> Please redirect your attention. Over there, you will see that all three pitches are now diamond grade. Mm -hmm. What does a diamond slider look like? That's what it looks like. And that's what a good hitter hitting a diamond slider looks like. And that's what a leadoff double in a very tight game looks like. Oh, uh, no! Hopefully we don't get to see what a blown save looks like. That's an encouraging start to this. Bad. That was a little unlucky right there. Hopefully he can... Oh, no! Ooh, these guys are hitting good. Oh, I'm going right through the heart of the lineup here. It's like a buzzsaw cutting right into Blake Trinan. Regardless of how good he is, there's nothing that can compare to the heart of the Angels lineup. Except maybe the heart of the Yankees lineup. Remember they like up pitches. What can I do? It's 2 one 106 on the radar gun. 106. Youch. That's probably a new fastest pitch speed. Yeah! Lays out! And saves a hit. They're going to tie the game. And 
Trinan's gonna get a blown save. He can still get the win, though, if we walk it off. This is some kind of game. Oh, no, 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 Chris Davis ran as hard as he could, but he couldn't quite make the catch. I am replacing Blake Trinan as much as it hurts me to do this with Chris Hatcher. Because they are hitting him too much. I don't know why Chris Hatcher is terrible, but maybe they'll hit him less because they can't stop hitting Blake Trinan. Oh, man, this is scary. We're in... We could, we could give up the lead real easily here. We have to be very careful. And there goes the lead. There goes the lead. Ouch. Oh, no! Blake Trinan is now in line for the loss. Ouch. Ouch. I thought... Oh, man. Poor Blake Trinan. Put him right into the heart of the Angels lineup. And regardless of his amazingness, just couldn't quite make it through the inning. Without coughing up the lead first. Maybe Chris Hatcher's done a good job trying limiting the damage so far. Sometimes I think maybe the Angels like fastballs and everything has been really fast from trying in, so. so that's what it was, yeah. Sometimes pitchers that pitch insanely fast, like 106, actually end up getting knocked around by certain teams. That's why velocity is not always the best thing. you got to have at least 90. If you have any less, they're going to kill you. But velocity is not always the best thing. Ideally, you're sitting around 98. You don't, want, you don't necessarily want the incredible power pitchers. Because sometimes they get crushed. They're dominant most of the time, but then sometimes they get crushed. And it looks like we may lose a game here. This would be really sad because we battled hard for this game. Canna. Oh, man. Sad, guys. We tried so hard. Can we do it still? No. So it's all going to be up to the hero, Matt Olson, who... Hasn't really done good in this game compared to last game. Oh my goodness! Matt Olson, wow! Holy wow. Toledo! Wow. Game tying homer with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. What is this game? This is the greatest, probably the greatest game I've ever played in MLB nine innings ever. Wow, just wow, Chris Davis. Chris Davis to the gap. That's going to be a double. Oh, wow. Davis and Olsen come through again. We got to find a way to get Davis in. We can walk this baby off. And save. We already saved Trinan, but we could really save him here. Here's Nick Hundley. Three hit day. Oh, man. man. Wow. Wow. I thought we were going to lose there for a minute. Olsen and Davis come through again. Hundley grounds out. We are headed. Two inning, number 10. Oh, dun, 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 dun. Wow. I'm going to autoplay because I don't have faith in myself. Bottom of the 10th inning. Wow. Tied at 7 in the bottom of the 10th. This is one of the best games I have played. Really tight game. Simeon, we gotta get this game. We gotta finish this game off right here, Simeon. There we go. Base hit. All right. Man, this this game's giving me a heart attack. Foul. Replace Fowler. No, no, no. Replace Fowler with Hanley Ramirez. Yes. How about a big... Oh, Hand Ram looks so good in an A's uni. He's been designated for assignment by the Boston Red Sox, so we could use him. We couldn't use that, though. Oh, boy, Jed. Yes. Good job. Good job, Jed Lowry. 
All right, we have the winning run at second base. And here comes our designated leadoff hitter, Chad Pender. Come on, Pender. Come on, Pender. Come on, Pender. Come on. All right, I just got to get the swing perfectly timed. Oh, he threw me the nasty hook when I wasn't expecting it. Oh, Chad Pender strikes out. Inning over. Oh, I was not expecting back-to-back -back curveballs. And they're going to take the lead, folks. Oh, wow. This has been a great game, but it's probably coming to a halt here. 9-7. Angels. Intense game. Hey, at least if I lose, I didn't lose 10 nothing. Hey, who said I was going to lose? Epic game. We're going to waste our bullpen. Hopefully we can. They're wasting their bullpen. We still got two more games to play. Both our bullpens are going to be absolutely depleted. It's Matt Olson. Who? Oh, Matt Olson. Sad story about him is that besides that big dinger, he hasn't done anything in this game. But that was a big dinger. Don't get me wrong. And how about a two-run homer from Chris Davis? Right here. Oh, no. Stays out of the double play. The game is still alive. Their infield has been making incredible plays the whole time. It's all up to Nick Hundley. Three for five. And I should not have made him swing that. I'm just... Come on, Hundley. Hundley keeps the game alive. Davis to second. And the winning run comes up to the plate. What kind of game has this been? Four hit day. Matt Chapman has not been good. No substitution. 100 batting average for the first two games of the season. Only hit he had was a single today. One for five. And strike one. What kind of game has this been? What kind of game has this been? And Chapman is going to ground out. Oh, the game no. is over. We lost. My power is low. We lost. 9-7. That's okay. These things happen. That was a great game. Anyway. Wow. Just wow. I cannot believe that I played that game. That was insane. We lost in the end, though. Kind of sad, but we could have lost in the ninth. We got Trinan off the hook. That's the big deal here. He didn't have to take the loss. The losing pitcher was... was Yuzmero Petit. And it reminds me that I need to get some bullpen upgrades because besides Trinan and Hatcher, I have nobody good in the bullpen. So bullpen gave up a ton of runs. I feel like we're the Atlanta Braves right now. I love the Braves, but their bullpen stinks really bad. All right, so 9-7 the final. See you next time. Hopefully we'll get a win. We are 1-1 one one on the season. Farewell.